has been pursuing excellence for his whole career. Um, he, if I read the bio correctly, worked at Erie for around 60 years. Uh, starting as an associate plant physiologist in 1961 and uh, serving as director for administration uh, with his term ending in 1996. Today, he is still a consultant at Erie. He is the chair of the Acer Asia Rice Foundation, the chair of the Los Banos Physical and Rehab Center, the president of Exotica Flowers and Plants Incorporated, a board member of the National Museum, a board member of the Los Banos Horticulture Society, project leader for the Mangasita Foundation, and a member of the board of trustees of the National Museum as well. And as I was scrolling through the numerous awards that he has received, um, the one that I wanted to uh, point out is that uh, he also has been awarded among the national and international awards he has received, the Outstanding Citizen of Los Angeles Award in 2004. Anyway, uh, I would like to invite the person who, when I asked earlier how he would like to be remembered from this event, uh, the person who has spent the most number of lunches with the Manansala paintings in his six decades here at Erie and continuing until the day. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Benito Sibu Vergara. Exhibit, 
and we have paintings of Luz, Bela Loya, Antonio, and other famous painters. Lord, uh, known to us by uh, Ateneo Gallery by Eric Torres. Then in 1993, the new director wanted to have the Rice Museum. So uh, it was going to be occupied on the first part. I hope that some of you will have a chance to visit the Rice Museum. So we have to move the the office, the post office, and all that, we have to move it out of the Chandler Hall to, to give uh, space for the uh, rice work. At that time, the uh, other mural was transferred to this part. And then you can, as you can see, it doesn't give, uh, it doesn't have the, uh, the nice viewing as this particular museum. Let me just start with this one. Uh, I'd like to call it actually the, the Spanish town because uh, as I, want to say, I spent so many last hours in this uh, uh, room. And uh, if you will see at the middle, you have this lady pouring the hot water, the healing water of the Spanish. And you can see this going up of the, until now people come to the Spanos to soak in the warm water of the Spanos. And uh, and uh, you'll see at the back you see at the back the uh, town church, the town proper. And uh, of course on this side you see the rice uh, planting around the Spanos. You will know that at that time the, uh, when they harvest the rice, it was about this stuff. Uh, the work of Erie was to make it short so that it will not blood, so that it produces a new yield. But during that time, we still have those tall rice plants. Um, and then, of course, on the left side, you have the uh, Laguna de Bay and the harvest of fish. And as I uh, put it out later on, I did realize that that portion there is probably the Dalim Islands. Uh, it just occurred to me you know, when somebody was talking about it. During the inauguration of Italy in February 1962, President Pagal, uh, John D. Rockefeller, and the aspiring president then, Ferdinand Marcos, died in this hall. This Mural has remained in this hall ever since, but uh, the pollution from the kitchen and the damage from the detergent, you know, strong detergent in cleaning this floor, and with some of the janitors, they put the handle of the map against that and they were doing. So, uh, so they had to, by 1984, they have to clean the ground and make some uh, uh, to touching of the mirror. According to the records given to me by uh, uh, Paul Delario, the, uh, the person who did the retouching was Dr. Crispin Vicencio. And we have not been able to trace where he is from. According to the uh, chief of the cafeteria, Somebody from the college told him to contact this person, he is from Manila, and he came to the task this painting. Uh, I remember this is Manasala visiting Ili after the death of uh, Manasala. Uh, I'm not sure with the daughter, I'm not sure whether it's. Uh, they came here. And, uh, my wife asked me, Mrs. Valenzana, uh, uh, you know, how much was paid for, for these two murals. And Mrs. Valenzana said, enough to retire. Uh, he, she saw the painting being done, you know, I guess, in their workshop. But she never saw the tiles being made. So she came here to look at the tiles. And I hope you have a chance to take a look at the past. 
it is the only tile mural, it's the only one that Mahal Sal has done. It was done by uh, uh, Maria Wasa. And uh, of course, I was trying to convince Ms. Pineda to make this as one of the projects of the Manasal uh, Foundation to, uh, to upgrade it. The, uh, we have a fire in that uh, building and a lot of the tiles crop. So they have to change it, but I think it was not uh, properly done. Maybe when it was still has the original painting, so the foundation could uh, I'm sure uh, Bruce will welcome the idea of that one. It's quite sad when you when you do that. <laughs> yes, to repair. Uh, but I don't think several sketches, but I think all the two were returned to Ewe. I was hoping when I was going to repair, they would give you one of the sketches. Uh, <laughs> yes. No such luck. Not even a gift, uh, not even a board from Petrogen. My wife and I were the one in charge of giving gifts to the parking uh, uh, senior staff of Lily. So, uh, so I, I was hoping that there's something like that. Well, going back to the mural, I think a better place is needed to preserve this national heritage. <coughs> Or people should be given a chance to view this course of Manasana in an accessible area. I grew up and matured under the shadow of Manasana murals for more than 60 years. You can take them if you didn't that up. But please leave good copies behind to inspire us and maintain the grandeur of the area. <laughs>